Hey, Dr. Stone here for Doc Sports, and today's Thursday, and we're ready with another free pick. Had a nice winner yesterday with Kent, uh, against Kent State with Eastern Michigan, so that worked out rather nicely. So that's, uh, what is our 116th winner in the last 164 days? Good stuff, right? And uh, then I also hit, as I mentioned yesterday or the other day, I guess I didn't mention because I did, I, we did this the Tuesday, so I didn't have a pick yet ready to go. But I did hit my top Mac play, Maction play, I should say, on Miami of Ohio. So that was that was a winner yesterday, three star winner or three unit winner. So happy about that. Got another big weekend coming up of football, that's for sure. And we're going to start it off with a five unit play on ten, uh, tonight. Thursday and see if we can keep the keep it going. 21 and 9 run in football uh the last month and 14 and 5 in college football. Um that's almost 75%. So we're going to try and continue rolling with more picks that I have at my page at Doug Upstone at uh, Doc Sports. You can pick up by the way, pick up that play tonight for just 30 bucks and continue to deliver on the free plays as well. Now, speaking of free plays, I um, originally was looking at Nevada uh, in the Mountain West Conference tonight. That game is going to be, I think, on FS1, as I recall. I was, look I, say, I was looking at Nevada, but I changed my mind because the line went too high. And my my opinion of that game was where the line's at, I believe, now in Nevada at minus 17. That takes it to more of a 50-50 venture. Maybe Nevada still can cover it. That's a possibility. I'm just not quite sure that they will. Uh, so instead, I'm looking at the total of the same game. You know, Utah State has lost the first two games and appears to be in somewhat of a rebuild. They only had five defensive players coming back, and uh, their quarterback situation has been a little unstable. I'll get more in that in a minute. Now, granted, they uh, the Aggies have played both Boise State and San Diego State, who figured to be strong contenders in the Mountain West Conference this year. And their inexperienced defense has been exposed, certainly has, giving up, giving up an average of 40 points per game. Now, Nevada typically has a strong offensive club, and that sure looks to be the case again, led by quarterback uh, Carson Strong, who is hitting, uh, or I should say completing, 76.9% of his passes so far this year. So, and they're averaging 37 points per game uh, to, to start their season. So the, the uh, Wolfpack, they look strong there. The Aggies or Utah State's quarterback situations, as I said, a little more unsettled. Uh, Jason Shelley, uh, who played extensively as a freshman, hardly at all as a sophomore, and has started the last two games for Utah State. He was pulled last week uh, against San Diego State. Hasn't distinguished himself in any manner. And then his backup played last week, was, uh, which was Andrew Peasley. And he was pretty much the same. Didn't uh, didn't do much. They scored seven points. Now, granted, San Diego State has a solid defensive club, but it's still not getting the job done. And not a typical Gary Anderson type offense, that's for sure. Uh, coach, by the way, Gary Anderson uh, on that one. Uh, because the the Aggies have some real weaknesses on defense, I don't see any reason why the uh, why Nevada doesn't score forty points, at least forty points in this one. So. We got a total of 56. That means that Utah State just has to make up 17 points, okay, in this one. And the Nevada defense is nowhere near as strong as either Boise State or San Diego State. So I wouldn't be at all surprised if Utah State finds a way to get to 20. So with that in mind, I like the over 56 in this game. Plus, I have a system Kind of, I'm not going to go into all the details, but here's some of the ba basis of it. it. Has to do with the uh, more experienced quarterback. It has to do with a team that, like Nevada, that is off two excellent offensive games in which they scored, unless in which they gained 450 or more yards, and has to fit into a certain total range, which at 56, this particular one does. And when all those factors come together, the over is 36 and 14. Let's take over. 56, Utah State and Nevada tonight, Thursday, for our free pick. So I'll be back with more free picks Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for sure. And also tonight, as I mentioned, I have a free, uh, excuse me, I have a five unit best bet going tonight. So we got that. Plus, I got a full package of games that I will release tonight at 6 Eastern 
at Dak Sports to boot. So this is Doug Upstone for Doc Sports. Until next time, I'm out.